What's up, Gorgeous Gamer here, bringing you some more Guild Wars to return to. This time we look at episode 3 of season 3's living story, Glint's Legacy. It is a crack in the ice. Once again, this introduces a brand new zone, Bitterfrost Frontier, and it does require the expansion Heart of Thorns to play. Like always, there are achievements, this time we have 8 of them. They are 4 tiers, Unbound Magic, Mystic Coins, Winterberry Strongbox, which gives you a plentiful amount of map currency, and Leyline Weapons Cache. There are 24 Return to missions. As you unlock and do each one of these, you will be putting it towards the achievement Seasons of the Dragon. There are a ton of achievement points, not to mention there are different tiers where you can unlock Ascended Weapons Chest, Fragment of Prismatic Light, a 32 slot bag, and a third generation legendary amulet, and of course a brand new title. Tip number one, and this relates to every single Return To episode, you should always check out the original Living Story achievements. Not only can you get a ton of ascended gear and achievement points from this, but you might as well knock out two birds with one stone while you're doing the Return To missions. Tip number two, again another general tip, Always check out the maps or the dailies within the area that you're at. This will a lot of times net you a ton of extra rewards that you can complete as you're running around doing the return to missions. Tip three, at least do the return to to the Mystic Coin tier. They sell for a lot, it's easy gold. Tip four, the final tier will net you a Leyline skin. This is for all the return to for season threes. These can be expensive. If you're going for the achievement to get all of them, this is a great way to get the most expensive skins for free. Doing so will net you seven Black Lion tickets. Tip number five, each map has its own currency. Each vendor will have unique things to that currency. Also, while you're in Living Story Season 3 and the Return 2s, you'll be netting a lot of Unbound Magic. These vendors will also sell things using Unbound Magic or the combination of both of these. You can net yourself anything from trinkets and such of ascended quality, transformation potions, recipes, minis, nodes for your home instance, and there are specific items required for creating the legendary trinket Aurora. Before we get into some of the unique parts of this Return 2's achievements, let's talk about the fact that every single Return 2 will have certain things that are repeated, such as always going through the original stories, also when you're in the map completing a certain number of events, and finally harvesting from ore, plants, and wood. Tip number seven and the only unique achievement tied to a crack in the ice Return 2 is a goggle dive achievement. It is called Second Dive Cold Feet. Now, there are two minor problems with this achievement other than sometimes it being a bit buggy. One, the area in which the goggles are located is up in that northeastern corner, and it is protected by a mechanic called Bitter Cold, where if you enter that area without having consumed a thawing potion, you will start taking damage. Now, I have run through that zone with a mount, but it's questionable whether or not you're going to be able to get to that and jump in and get the achievement before you die, and it's almost guaranteed you won't be able to get out of there before dying, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest doing it this way. What I would suggest doing is play through the story until you unlock the potion and have to do the story to create the potion and go into that zone anyway. Once you have consumed the potion and are in that zone, then go ahead and knock out this achievement. Just don't forget. The second challenging part of this area is that there are diving goggles all over the place. So you have to make sure that you put on the right set of goggles and jump from the right ledge down into the lake. Otherwise you will not break the ice and you will not get the achievement completed. And that's it. This return to is by far one of the easiest. It's one of the smaller maps too, so it's very quick to knock out. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.